Hey Tagonites, this is my sixth and final service vlog. I know you're gonna miss me. Anyway, in this vlog, I'm just going to reflect on my service project. Since both components of my service project were only one-day events, and I couldn't see a long-term effect that they had on the community, I'm actually going to share some statistics with you from an eHow article titled, What Effect Does Art Have on Children? Here we go. When kids create art, they get to explore their creativity. Since a lot of kids haven't been able to explore this side of themselves, they can't really discover it through everyday life activities. They need to be creating music or art or writing or any sort of creative work. According to the article, creating art helps kids develop problem-solving skills, which will benefit them throughout their lives, not just in childhood, but once they get into school, once they start looking for jobs and looking for colleges once they go into a career. This is something that can help them throughout their lives. So it's important that we teach kids about art at a young age so it can continue to benefit them for the rest of their lives. According to the article, students who take four years of art or music in high school on average score 85 points higher on the SAT than students who have only taken the minimum requirement. From those statistics, we can gather that exposure to music and art actually raises one's intelligence. So, by exposing these kids to art and music when they're in preschool and early elementary school, we can inspire them to become interested in it, and then if they take these art and music classes in high school, they're going to do better on standardized tests as well as in their other subjects. So, what we teach them at such a young age can affect them for the rest of their school career. Art teaches skills in observation and reflection. These skills are also vital for reading, writing, math, science, and all other subjects in school. So when kids are actively involved in art and music, they can learn skills that will enhance their success in other school subjects. When kids are involved in art and music, they gain exposure to a wide variety of cultures. This teaches kids to respect other cultures and develop more global ways of thinking. Since different societies and cultures are becoming more and more interconnected, it's vital that kids think globally, so art can benefit them in the long run because they learn to respect and appreciate other cultures. I couldn't agree more with the information that I learned in the article, and I feel that both the art show and the community playdate might have sparked an interest in art in some kids to the point that they might want to pursue art and music in the future, which will help them develop the skills that I learned about in the article. But I also feel that these events did more than just inspire young people. These events also spread information about a store that just recently opened in the south end of St. Joseph, Missouri, artifacts that people wouldn't necessarily know about if they hadn't heard about these community events. So we were able to spread information about a local business and just bring the community together in another location where we can all feel safe and accepted and just have a good time. So in addition to hopefully inspiring some young people to become interested in art for the rest of their lives, we were also able to unite the community and I feel that that was beneficial to all of us. People from Central, the people down at Artifacts, and anybody who happened to come to the art show or the community playdate. So, I achieved some goals. I was able to teach kids about art, get people my own age to compile art and writing for this book, teach people in the community about art, and make us all a little bit more united with each other. So, I hope that other people feel I made such a success in their lives and... I hope that I can do something like this again in the future. I would just like to thank a few people for this successful project. I'd first like to thank Colin Pritchett, the owner of Artifacts. I seriously would not have had any idea what to do for this if you hadn't helped me come up with the ideas and planned a lot of them with me. So, you are an awesome person, and you have benefited this community so much. I hope that Artifacts continues to be a successful business, and if you ever need any more help in the future, I gotcha. 
I would like to thank everybody who submitted to the Book of Art and Writing. I feel like even though we didn't have a lot of time to compile it, it ended up being a pretty awesome little publication. So thank you, all of my friends, for helping me with that. I would like to thank Miss Beggs for donating brushes and paint for the community playdate. I know that your supplies definitely helped, and we were able to save a lot of money and have enough for the kids to work with, so that was really awesome of you. Thank you. I would like to thank all of the parents who took your kids to the community play date because I know they had a good time and I know that we had a good time planning it, so thank you for taking your kids out there. And lastly, I would like to thank Mr. Haskey because if you hadn't come up with this service project assignment, I wouldn't have done this and wouldn't have been able to help the community as much, and I'm just glad that you were able to get me thinking about how my actions can affect others because a lot of teenagers don't think about that. So you opened my mind with this project. Thank you everybody and I hope to see you all during future projects. Maybe there will be more additions to this channel. Who knows, you just gotta keep watching. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>